What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Tech, if you're new, I make a lot of videos on Philips Hue, smart home, and just really innovative tech. So if you like that, you should totally subscribe. Today, we are checking out the all new Philips Hue app, which released yesterday. If you're looking for a too long, didn't read type video, I came out with a video with all of the features yesterday. Today, we're gonna do a walkthrough. I'm gonna take you through all of the new features. There are a lot of them. I'm gonna show you how to create these new shortcuts. I've also placed chapter marks throughout the entire video in case you're looking for something specific. That way you can find it really easily. And yeah, there is so much to do, so let's get right into it. Three, two, one record and here we go you can see it's justin's hue bridge and these are all my rooms and zones it's a much more elegant look and it's so much easier to read than the names of the rooms they've done um some good work on choosing whether it's black or white font on these colors so i'm really happy about that First things first, one of the biggest updates is the ability to switch between bridges if you have multiple ones right in the top left. So if I tap that, it's gonna show me all these different bridges. I'll connect to another bridge later, but for now, here we have the main um, home screen. And one of the coolest things you can do right off the bat is just tap and hold and you can move around the rooms and zones. This is really helpful for putting the rooms and zones that you use the most right on top. Also by clicking that dot, dot, dot on the top, I can sort rooms and zones. And then there I can either have my rooms on top, my zones on top, or I can even mix them. So if I go to mixed, there we go. That way I don't have to scroll down just to get to my rooms or zones. Um, I could just put my favorite areas to control right on top. Now when we enter a room, let's enter great room, this is the all new tile look. This is so easy to find what you're looking for um, quickly. So here we have my scenes on top and then the lights on the bottom. And again, just like that home screen, you can tap and hold down on these scenes and move them around. Then you've got all of the lights on the bottom. You can easily tap into one and then be able to control that. So that one's not plugged in. Let's go to one that's plugged in. Right here we have a bunch of lights and scenes. Um, I'm gonna go into that Hugo. So now I have control over the Hugo behind me. Now check this out, when you go into a light, it's going to show you the settings of every light in that room right on top in that color wheel. Now you have all of the lights listed at the bottom so you can easily tap which one you wanna control and then move it around. So there we go, I have my monitor, um, there are the color wheels, um, and then I've got the brightness Right there, I just have to tap and hold and then I can change that brightness. Now, if I want, there's the dot, dot, dot in the top left, I can turn on left-handed mode. So if you're a left-handed, left you'll have the brightness control right on your left hand for easy access. I'm gonna put it back to right-handed. And so that is the new light editing. It's really great. So now let's check out what a scene looks like. You go to edit and there you go, you have all the lights there. If I tap onto a light, you have that same control panel. And then I can save if I wanted to. So I really like how easy, easily I can just tap on a scene and then edit it. That's super smooth. Now something new to the app is called Hue Scene Gallery. If I tap on that all the way at the end, I can browse through a bunch of really cool scenes that Hue has handcrafted. So let's go over to Party Vibes and we're gonna choose Soho. Now, it just changed all of my lights to Soho. What I can do though, is if I like this color scheme, but I want it to, you know, I want it to shuffle around a bit, I want it a little bit different, I can click that shuffle button and look at that. It will change the color of all of the lights keeping that scheme, but kind of, you know, I can keep pressing it until I find my favorite version of that. Let's say this is the one I wanted, add to my scenes, done. There it is all the way at the end. And then you know what? I'm gonna put that near the front because I don't know, I like it. Um, but I had the lighting set perfectly for this video. So we're gonna go back to Hue Shoot, voila. Also, just like the old app, you can click that plus sign to create a scene, or you can even use a photo. So if there's a color scheme in your room, you can just 
take a picture, and then it will create a scene based off of that. In order to access power on behavior, which is really important, um, you'll want to tap on the light that you're controlling, click that dot, dot, dot in the top left, and go to light settings. The power on behavior is basically if there were to be some sort of electric outage and all of your lights turn off or they flicker on and off, this basically decides what that light is going to do. I have it to stay off or turn back on based off of what it was prior. So if my light was blue and it was on and the power goes out, it will come right back the way it was. If it was off, then it's gonna stay off. Next, we have shortcuts, which are all new to Philips Hue. Before we had widgets, which were pretty helpful, but shortcuts I really love, and I'm gonna show you how to create these right now. So basically what a shortcut is, is it gives you the ability to access a scene from Philips Hue right on your home screen through basically an app. So as you can see, I have a nightlight already set on my home screen, but let's create one. Let's open up the shortcuts app, which is on every iPhone. And here you have all of my shortcuts. I'm gonna add a new one with that plus sign in the top right corner, add an action, and I'm just gonna search for Hue. So there you go, you got my Hue app. And here I have access to all of my scenes and my rooms. So let's go to um, activate a scene and then we're gonna click on that room zone, choose a room zone. What I really love is I have access to all of my bridges. And now I'm gonna activate a scene. So first I'm gonna click on that room zone and I'm gonna choose my great room and then click on scene. And the scene I'm gonna choose is movie. So when I use this, the movie scene is gonna go on. If I wanted to, I could also add, let's say um, I click the X, I'm gonna put on my hue sync box and I'm gonna have it, you know, start, start sync. Um, so if I wanted that, I can have a scene go on and have my sync box be activated. This is really awesome for that. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this movie and, oh, but I'm gonna call it movie sync box, right? Because I wanna, if I wanna watch a movie with the sync box, this is what I'll use. Next what I can do is if I tap that icon, I can choose a color for it. And then I can also go through all of the um, series shortcuts uh, buttons. So I'm gonna choose, you have people, symbols, and then you got objects. So I think that there's a good one for a movie. There we go, I'm gonna use this one. The color, I'm gonna do it dark blue or purple, whatever that is. Um, and then click done, and then done. And there we go, it's in my short shortcuts, but it's not on my home screen yet. To do that, click that dot, dot, dot on it. Go to that dot, dot, dot. And then I can add to home screen. Now, something really cool, before I add it to my home screen, if I wanted to, I can tap on this icon by the name down in the middle of the screen and I can choose a photo. So in this case, I'm gonna choose this photo that I found online. I can even pinch and zoom to center it. So I like that, I'm gonna choose that. That is the new icon, add. There we go, add it to home screen. It's also gonna show on my Apple Watch. Go to my home screen and there it is. I'm gonna put this all the way in the back with that. And then if I wanna use it, just tap it. And there you go, it ran. Woohoo! It happened. So shortcuts are a really powerful tool and I can't wait to literally fill up an entire home screen of these. I'm gonna divide it out by room and have an entire screen of these shortcuts. So, so excited for that. Next, we've got a new tab called Automations. Automations is basically taking over for routines, but it's showing them in a much more organized fashion. I like this way better. You can have them all open. I can even close them just to get to things faster. Um, so now what you have in custom, you have the ability to, um, you always have the ability to choose the days, but you can also choose a, a different type of time. So let's say I wanna choose sunrise. I can also choose the amount of time before or after sunrise. You can also do that for sunset. Besides that, we've got Hue Labs at the bottom, which Hue says is kind of now a legacy system for us people who have been using them for a while. Um, I don't know what that necessarily means, if this will be phased out and how long it will take to be phased out. Um, I love Hue Labs. We're using a bunch here, some really cool ones that I'm even talking about in an upcoming video. My hopes is that they bring or integrate more Hue Labs into the app. 
Uh, they have hinted at that with a new feature coming this summer called Dynamic Scenes. They teased this real quick at the digital event the other day and it's actually like the outdoor living spaces from my Ultimate Smart Home series. If you haven't seen that Philips Hue episode, you should totally check it out. So I'll throw that right up there and down in the description. And in addition to the dynamic scenes, Hugh said that because this app was rebuilt from the ground up, there is so much capability here and they have a lot of updates planned. My guess is that maybe one day we'll see a Hue effects library that resembles the Hue labs, that would be like a dream come true. Uh, so hopefully that comes and obviously as soon as it happens, I will let you know on here with a video. Next, we've got multi-user geofencing, which is gonna be amazing because what used to happen is you'd leave home and if you had geofencing turned on and turn the lights off, um, they would turn off on people that were still at the house. So now you can register individual devices to geofencing. That way, if someone's home with that device and you leave, that won't happen. The lights won't turn off. If they're not here and you leave, they will. Or if you both leave, they'll turn off. So really cool. You access this in settings. You go to location settings and here's where you'll register a device. So you see Justin's iPhone's already there. If it wasn't there, I just register this device and there you go, it says to add another device, navigate to this screen on that device. So for everyone who lives in the home, if they have a device that's connected to Hue, you can make it so that um, they'll be part of the system. And we've also got a big update to the Hue entertainment areas. If I go down to settings, I go to entertainment areas and here's where I can choose our home theater expanded. And check this out, if I go to light placement, it gives me an isometric two and a half D view of all of the lighting and I can choose on top location of the lights so I can move this light around in the room. And then if I wanna change the height, just go to height and I can lower it and raise it. Before you only had the ability to go um, with the TV, below TV or ceiling, now you have full control over the height. I also like that you're able to tap all the lights on the bottom and the lights will flash as you're choosing them. It did that before, um, I'm just saying it again. <laughs> And there's also this new ability to change the performance. You can kind of decide which light is acts as the hub for the sync automation. I have it on automatic select. I'm not having any issues, but if you are having issues, maybe just turn automatic select off and choose a different light to kind of act as that hub. That is everything for today's walkthrough. Like I said, Philips Hue says more updates are on the way. And if you guys want to be there for them, you guys should subscribe to my channel. Click that bell for alerts. That way you know when my videos drop. And if you guys had a good time, be sure to give this video a like. Let me know what your favorite features are down in the comments. And until next week's video, you guys should check out some of my others. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.